As you said, they're spending a lot of money on pitching. I, if there's one fan base that's disheartened right now, it's the Dodgers making <laughs> So we got a thermostat in the building back here that is killing batteries every month, according to the building guy. So there's a common hooked up, which is kind of odd because we shouldn't be using up battery power. Uh, the common wire terminal, uh, the common wire coming into the terminal is black and up at the rooftop it's orange. So somewhere in between it looks like we got a splice, so we got to figure out why uh, these batteries are dying and find out if the commons even hooked up and hooked up properly so we're going to do that right now okay so here is the thermostat all right crest run never really heard of that stat before and here is the wiring now you can see we have one t-stat wire coming down here that ties into a bunch of terminals and then this one here actually has the 24 volt common on it and for some reason it's rusted out which doesn't really make sense to me um, so let's check the power source there so across our and 24 volt common we have 16 volts not really enough so that's probably why the batteries are dying we're gonna have to go look in to see where the common ties up on the roof Okay, so up at the unit here we have R and we have C, red and orange. Okay, downstairs we had a black wire on the C terminal, so it looks like we got some splicing going on. So let me check the power here to make sure we have the correct power that we need to power that stat. And yes, we do, we have 26 volts, so we have to figure out where that voltage break is somewhere. All right, well, I think we may have found where the problem may lie. bit of a debacle going on here so we're gonna have to try to figure out what's what and get this sorted out I mean I would suggest a full new thermostat wire run up to this rooftop from the thermostat but to get them going we might have to uh, get creative here for now All right so the problems pretty apparent here we have an orange wire going to the rooftop it's connected to a blue wire so we got to find that blue wire down at the stat all right, so now that we've found the correct wire, come down and check the voltage here. 25 volts, perfect. Um, it's still a bit of a mystery where this corrosion's coming from, so I'm gonna suggest we replace this thermostat, but I'm gonna hook it back up right now anyway, just to see if we can get this thing functioning and get some heat in this space. Okay, so we're powered back up. We're at 19 in the room, setting at 20C. Uh, we're heating. Okay, you can hear the fan running in the background. I don't know if you guys can, but I can hear it loud and clear. So guys, that's all it was, just a bad wiring job on the thermostat to the rooftop. So guys, just make sure your wiring's correct when you're installing equipment, you'll prevent callbacks. All right guys, just an update on that corroded terminal. Okay, so that black wire that was connected to it, it was actually going up to the roof and it wasn't connected to anything. It was in that bundle of thermostat wire. It was getting wet, possibly shorting out to the roof curb, I talked to my buddy Rocky Hyatt, it's been on the podcast a couple of times, controls guru, super tech, and he said that if that wire's going up, it's carrying potential because it's connected to the common, and if it's shorting out um, on the water, uh, the snow, the rain, puddles that's collecting, or the roof curb itself, it's gonna, it's gonna cause that corrosion on that terminal, especially if there's gonna be a little bit of humidity in that room, and that's why that one terminal was corroded and the rest weren't, because we had potential carrying through that common, and that common wasn't connected to anything, uh, possibly shorting out on, on the roof curb or the puddles, the snow, the water, you name it. So that's it, guys. I learned something there. I hope you did from that video. Stay safe, happy HVACing.